Kevin Tharp here talking about how we're going to use includes to create a template. Now, at this point, it's important to understand uh, or think about the role of a template. The template is a document that you are going to use essentially as a rubber stamp, a code rubber stamp that is going to allow you to create new pages from that template and then save them anywhere in your site. You might save them at the root level. You might save them at a subdirectory or you might save them at a sub subdirectory or anywhere else in your site and so what we need to do then is we need to start thinking about how do we create the different paths so that uh, say an image included in the file is going to work no matter uh, where it's from and the other thing that we need to do is look at how a navigation file uh, that will be on all the pages in the site will work uh, so that you code it one time and you uh, then include that on the various pages so you've got to have what's called a, a root relative site so that any time that it's looking in that website uh, that it knows the absolute path to that uh, from the the root level uh, so that's the second thing and then the third thing that we need to look at is the uh, PHP paths or the include path. Now that is going to be different because uh, when you look at the structure of a, um, a server it isn't the same as the website. So let's dig into this idea of, of paths. When you are dealing with a website uh, what you're really dealing with is a server and that server is located on the internet and as you recall from uh, previous internet basics um, the different websites in there are each associated with an IP address. The IP address is a numeric address that is able to use the DNS system to associate a um, a domain name such as stoutmartech.com with an IP address. So uh, from a server standpoint the path starts at the so server which would be home and then it goes down whatever path to get me to this uh, stoutmartech.com uh, IP address. It may be two or three or four lev levels down within that server. Now that normally isn't a problem when you're w just working with HTML because the HTML, as you recall, uses the, the client, uses the DNS system to come straight to this folder. So this to the uh, website seems like the root level, uh, but to the server, this is the root level. Now, the reason that's important is because when you are doing uh, putting together HTML pages, um, they're going to look at this as the root. So all of the, the, this would be the root level and then everything below that root would give you the path. So within an HTML uh, call, if I was going to the home page, it would just be stoutmartech.com slash index.php or index.html, whatever you are using. Uh, if, however, I was going to go to um, uh, this exercises homepage, which sits down in the exercises folder, then the path would be stoutmartech.com slash exercises slash index.php or index.html, whichever was appropriate. But when you're doing a PHP call, you're coming for, you're working at the server level. So you're telling it to, uh, you're, you're interacting with the server, not just with the uh, the website. So when you set a path for a PHP call, it has to start at this root level. So we have to be able to figure out what that path is so that you go from server to uh, the path to the website and then to the location of your include. Say in this includes folder I had the uh, a name.php file. So then I would have to go the full site, which would include this uh, address here. So we'll take a look at how that plays out, but it's important to understand as you're going forward, when you're doing a PHP call, you're starting from the server letter level. When you're doing an HTML call, you're starting from the website route. So each of those routes is different locations and you have to use different paths accordingly. We'll dig into that in the next video.